2016, the Democrats had the insurance policy. Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, that was their deal in 2016. The FBI, 2020, it's impeachment. 2020, they're going to use impeachment. Insurance policy didn't work in 2016. Impeachment's not going to work in 2020 because the American people appreciate what this president is getting done on their behalf. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chairman. Anyone else seek recognition? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, what purpose is... Uh, we'll strike the last words. As strike the last word. Gentlemen, gentlemen's recognized. Which one? Thank you. Um, it, it truly is amazing. We've heard over and over that this was all about the Bidens, all about getting information on the presidential candidate, the Bidens. But if you look at what the president said, he's talking about, you know, we've been through a, this country. Our country has been through a lot. And Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. It's news to me, but my Democrat friends will know better. I didn't know Biden was involved with crime, uh, with, with crowd crime. strike. I didn't know he was involved with the uh, DNC server being hacked. I didn't know that was all part of his thing, but that's what the president's asking about because there been information that there were some people in Ukraine pay to play. that knew something about that. And that's what he's asking about. So I appreciate the revelation from our friends across the aisle. Biden was in the middle of all that. <laughs> and then um, he said, I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server, they say Ukraine has it. Uh, again, I didn't know Biden was all in the, up to his earball, eyeballs in that. But uh, there are a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. And I think you're surrounding yourself with some of the same people. I would like to have the attorney general call you and your people. I like to get to the bottom of it. Uh, so that was the whole thing about the 2015, 2016 election. Uh, but according to our friends, Biden was in the middle of all of this mess. So uh, anyway, it's interesting. But my friend from Ohio has a brilliant amendment. They say it's not personal, that that this isn't just about an election, that this is trying to undo the fairness, unfairness of the prior election, even though it turns out there was no Russia collusion. Uh, and it sounds like that there was, despite what the media is saying, that uh, we know the Ukrainian ambassador came out lambasting Trump. It was, clearly, that would not have been done without official uh, okay. Uh, they were all in for Hillary Clinton. That's why it was reported that they were figuring after the election that Trump won, maybe we better try to warm up to Trump. But there's been so much made of the fact that uh, President Trump did not ask the former corrupt administration for help in rooting out corruption. That, that is just almost unfathomable that that point would continue to be made all day today. In 2019, you had the election of a man in Ukraine, Zelensky, that said he was going to fight corruption. And President Trump heard from our own people, we think he's sincere. We really think he's going to try to fight corruption. So, of course, this is the first time that he talks to a Ukrainian leader because he knew he couldn't trust the other ones. They were supporting Hillary Clinton. They were corrupt. Why would he talk to them about helping root out the corruption? So to say this was all about Biden, for heaven's sake, that's ridiculous. But my friend from Ohio's amendment puts our friends to the test. Is it really about trying to correct what you say was an unfair election, which we know now from the Horowitz report, it, it was unfair, but it was from the Democrat side, from the Trump hater side. So if that's really the case, then let's just strike the part that says he can't ever run for office again or be reelected again. Right? Didn't, wouldn't that help some of your vulnerable Democrats if you made it more reasonable like that? Or do you want to continue to persist in making it so personal that it's walk off the plank time for anybody that wants to try to be reasonable about what's going on here? So we will see, but it's a good, good amendment. I would encourage my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, help some of your vulnerable people out.
vote for Mr. Jordan's amendment. You'll be better off. The country will be better off because I feel sure he'll be reelected. And uh, the the scary part for me, though, is, is that bar has been set so low. I am really afraid no matter what party is in the White House, if there's an opposing party in Congress, they're going to use this tactic to try to take them down. One silver lining, though, it's been hard to know who all the deep state people were, especially in the State Department. By our friends going through this, we now know who the people are that don't want the swamp drained, and we can deal with that. I yield back. Gentlemen, you